Hey, just a quick video before we head out. I wanted to show some of the things that we've done thus far. And to be honest with you, it's really not a ton. Um, a lot of the things that we ended up doing are things that aren't obvious. So for instance, we uh, did put in some insulation above the bedrooms and um, which would be considered somewhat like a crawl space or an attic. Then we also had the septic system updated because it needed to be done and yada, yada, yada. So I'll point out the things that we have done, but here's a tour of everything. We did not do a lot in a bathroom. We did clean the walls, but outside of cleaning the walls, there really was not much that we could do at this point, um, especially seeing that it's still usable. If it was not, I think we would have approached that very differently. Sorry about my finger. In this space, which I guess would be considered a dining room, we, um, we once again cleaned the walls and I know in my mind, I thought we would be painting. Oh, we got these shelves for the, um, for the wood and that is very lovely this works this is working out very well um in my mind i thought we were here for two months we would get so much done and we did it's just not the things that i was expecting so here we are in the hallway and as you can see we took down the wallpaper here in the hallway and what we're planning on doing is we're still going to paint it's just not this <laughs> this visit. It will be over the next several visits, so a couple years. We did paint this wall. Um, as you can see, Hubs did a great job. The interesting part about this space, along with these walls, are that they are kind of tactile. So we had to figure out how to actually paint over them. Thank goodness his father chimed in. It saved us a ton of time instead of us guessing. Um, so that was painted. That's the, really the only painting that was done. Then I went crazy. Let me show you, hold on one second. Okay. I went crazy and I ended up tearing down all of the wallpaper in the kitchen. And as you can see, the appliances and everything else are basically the same, except we got a washer dryer unit, which has saved me tremendously. The other thing I want to get our next visit is going to be a um, dishwasher. I so need a dishwasher. Listen. I so need a dishwasher so badly, so badly. I'm just being honest. All right, so we also got this little drying rack, which actually collapses so you can put it away completely and it opens up on both sides so we can dry clothes. Um, even though we do have a washer and dryer unit, it's still nice to have a to use drying racks here because you know, we want to be green and we got another wood rack here in this space as well which is working out as you can see very lovely so back to the walls yes this is what we're working with now and they kind of in the past did something here and this is ultimately what we're going for and what it will look like once we um do a light paint. I do not want something glossy. I want something more matted and um, Hubs completely understands and gets it. So he's all in for it. But let me tell you, it was a great step, first step to remove all of the wallpaper. Let me tell you. I just felt some kind of way coming in here for breakfast in the morning. Like seriously, this is how it's gonna be. And yeah, I went crazy. One day I just was like, that's the end of that. Started tearing it down <laughs> and it worked out very well. Hub space is still hub space, right? It's like, there's nothing I can say. The wallpaper is still here. Enough said. Nothing has been done in this space. Nothing has been touched. We've focused solely on the everything else. 
the whole still once again wallpaper i mean it doesn't matter how much wallpaper you remove it's like it will not go away but i know it will with time there is something i would like to add because there's a little cliff here we actually have um invited friends over and they had revamped the house themselves by the water on the coast and they told us here in france i'm sorry they suggested that we put bookshelves here and I thought that would look amazing. So that is an idea that I am going to implement as soon as we can. Now, let me show you my space because I still had not shown you that. Okay, we're packing. Remember, our two month stay is over. It's over. I'm happy, but I'm still sad, right? So this is my space. I've cleared out my wardrobe already. So a lot of my stuff, everything's in my, my suitcase, but this is what I'll be leaving. And I'm gonna wear my coat and I'm gonna wear my hair wrap because my hair is braided into braids to make it more travel friendly. And this is stuff that will be staying. So that is my plan, just a, a footnote. I will be slowly but steadily bringing things here as we um, continue to visit so that I have a wardrobe there in the US and a wardrobe here in France and not having to carry a billion things, right? So let me show you the dresser. Now I am proud of this because I worked so hard on this, boom. Boom, look at that, look at, hey y'all, <laughs> look at that. It looks so beautiful. I have a mini video I did of fixing this up. So that's that. I added these curtains because they're blackout curtains, but they're so cute. I also added the rug. These little things that serve as tables, but also baskets, they were here since our last visit. I had gotten those. This, um, so I have two of those. This is actually what, they, what we call a futon. In France, they call it a click clack. Um, it, it folds out to a bed. I would like to get a cover for this, but I did not make that a priority this go round because it's perfect and Hub's mom gave us this and I just, I just love it. And I got my weighted blanket. But as you can see, look, this basket is filled with all kinds of, I'm preparing to pack things mode, you know, cause you, you just have to be safe when you're packing. The other thing we focused on while we were here 
is the humidity. So we have been trying to figure out how to lessen the amount of humidity in the space. We've done a great job, I will say, because we found some options. So next time we come, that's what we'll do. This room is basically the same. Let me tell you something, the same. Am I mad? No, I'm not mad at it. We put so much energy and effort in the spaces that needed it most and um, this first go around and it's going to be a step-by-step -step process. I'm not anticipating or expecting everything to happen all at once simultaneously because that's unrealistic. Now look at this. Okay, let me turn the camera around and talk to you about this, okay? One second. So things are going to about to get real on this conversation. This bed was supposed to be up, propped up, set up, and ready for sleep. Two months ago, when we first got here, we ordered this bed. And we ordered it from Emma, E-M-M-A, here in France. And apparently, they don't do well delivering countryside because when we got it, Part of our shipment, which was the base of the bed, was damaged, so we had to send it back immediately. After that, we've been waiting for the replacement. The one piece, this right here, is half of the base of the bed. Half, okay? So we have the, the bed heading and then one base. We can't set the bed up. We can't. So, and we got the legs and everything else. Um, so, we've been waiting two months for this bed. I don't know. I don't know. These things happen. So, this is the lesson to all of us, right? Be prepared because things happen. Now, all in all, I want to be really, really transparent here. That's the gist of it, okay? I mean... I can't say that I was expecting anything magical to happen because there's so much we want to do that I didn't share in the first video. For instance, this, our bedroom, soon we will have it expanded because on the other side of this wall, we have a barn and on the other side of this wall is a humongous barn. And what we're going to do is we're going to renovate and we're going to expand out this way once we get to that point. Right now, we're trying to do as much as we can ourselves, which is just, you know, the walls and everything else. But in the end, it's just gonna take a lot of renovations. And I'm excited for it, I'm all for it. It's like our home in the US. We have so many renovations that we, we want to do to that property as well. I am all for it, waiting for it, but it all takes time and that is what is real so we're right back where we started and yeah i know if someone came in they'd be like wait what 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 did you do what did you accomplish but we did we accomplished so much and we had to elevate the wood burning stove so let me show you that because i completely forgot to show you turn some lights on that so hubs and his dad discovered that up here, the connection was kind of, mm, it was a little wonky. So what they did was elevate it. Yeah, that's the type of people Hub's family is. They get on it, they find an issue, they resolve it. And I love them for it. While we're here, let me see if I can show you the outside. So I'm going to close here and I'm going to say until next time. But I'm also going to show you quickly the outside as far as where the barn is so that you have a better idea of how much we're planning to change the space. So this is a great opportunity to do it. Until next time, my beautiful people. Okay, so this right here is the actual end. Um, extension area that we're doing for the bedroom. So this is connected. I'm gonna try to get you a better picture. This is connected to the bedroom and so is this space. So I'm not gonna climb up the ladder, but I will give you a peek into this space, which is basically all storage. And I'll quickly show you the 
um, space from behind the opposite side so you can see that as well but there is so much to be done and I can't wait to share it with you I hope you join us as we go through this process over in the next couple years so this is the back of that space and then all of that is the upstairs going into the bedroom <laughs> 